You know, I wanted to know why Battlefield 6 doesn't support ray tracing. So I came across this on Axe, on Battlefield Bulletin, uh, that, uh, again, eventually it says that it was designed like that to make sure that the game is optimized for, uh, for you know, all players, uh, again, as much as possible. But then I asked myself, well, all right, so just enable ray tracing and ask people, you know, if you want to enable it or not. I mean, just toggle it in the setting and that's it. I mean, this is how it's done in any game like cyberpunk 2077 and other games enable it or disable it it doesn't supposed to be like not in the game because well there is a reason so i came across this post on reddit uh on the subreddit battlefield and you can see here battlefield 6 unique destruction isn't possible on generic engine like unreal engine 5 and the battlefield studios have no intention of leaving the frostbite engine in favor of unreal engine 5. They also mentioning the kind of destruction what we are doing is not achievable on an, an on a generic engine yeah so now we know the reason the reason is uh because again first of all for sure the, the engine is so well supposed to be so well optimized for uh for the game itself but again with battlefield 2042 when they try to do something like that uh it's uh well you know what happened and it's not easy to implement it because it's a, a rasterization uh, engine so if you want to implement something like that uh, you need to implement it for the core and of course then you need to optimize and solve many other issues and then you invest you know a lot of effort in order to make it work right what in other engines you just you know just switch a, uh, a flag inside the, the game engine and, and just works by the way you can also see it with textures with something is not really it's kind of not that uh, sharp where in unreal engine 5 for example you can see really tech sharp uh, textures when you get close to things sometimes it is sometimes it doesn't it's not really consistent but this is based on my experience but that was in the beta so you know things might change anyway it's not related what i'm trying to say that when i played it just looked a bit you know on the cartoony side gamey not like i mean i was expecting higher realism and the reason for that is mostly the lighting uh, and uh, because you know things a certain situation looks pretty flat and, and lack depth and it was quite noticeable and immediately i was disappointed and what they did is just make the textures very very sharp very detailed i think maybe to compensate uh for that i think but 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 still uh, maybe not to compensate but you know i have no problem with everything looks very detailed it actually looks amazing There's so much detail in the world but maybe they added something you know just an extra to make the world looks you know a bit more realistic and believable uh, but definitely with better lighting, it would be so, so much better. And maybe some other adjustment, which I'm well, not aware of technically. Uh, this can be disappointing for those who have, uh, you know, a uh, really good system and they really want to play Battlefield like next-gen Battlefield. Uh, and those who have low-end system, they're actually happy that they don't need to deal with, you know, um, performance issues. It's not like Unreal Engine 5 doesn't have performance issues, I'm saying, but again, this is something very risky because they just implemented this feature themselves and to make sure it works well and also takes effort, time that they can, could have just put into make the game better. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, this is also very important for them. They can't take the risk with the, you know, the saga that they had with their Battlefield 2042. If it happens again, you know, it can really be a big problem for the studio. So they just scrapped it down from what they relatively early in the beginning. Uh, and they decided that they're not going to go uh, and use ray tracing. So just going to focus on delivering a, get a great gameplay experience and uh, great performance. And they did, based on the beta at least, the performance was excellent. I immediately felt it. But if the 2042 on my PC, and back then I was playing with 3070 Ti, uh, it was horrendous. I was just suffering playing the game. I actually, I think, spent more time in the settings than actually playing the game because I actually left it after a week. But this is not just because of the performance, because the game was really pretty bad. Anyway, that's the reason. Now you know, more or less, uh, you know, why there isn't ray tracing. And I'm sure many of you will, many of you who have really good graphics card will probably be disappointed because, again, just they are probably imagining Battlefield 6 with ray tracing and everything, maybe even extra features. Um, that the game look amazing but well that's not the case so there is disappointment i'm also disappointed but not to such a high degree uh, uh to be honest i really had fun and it always shows that gameplay uh is more important than everything if the gameplay is fun uh you know people can forgive other things what are your thoughts in the comment section